Raymond Thundersky was a Cincinnati artist, a Native American, and an eccentric true original. He died in 2004, but artists touched by his work are keeping his legacy alive through Thunder Sky Gallery in Northside. The gallery exhibits work by people who don't necessarily consider themselves artists, but make creations infused with the Thunder Sky ethos. Let's go to an opening reception for an exhibition called Super Unknown and meet the people keeping Thunder Sky's legend alive. It's a nonprofit gallery, and we um, established it to kind of keep Raymond Thundersky's name and art alive. And he's a guy that used to run around, or actually walk around Cincinnati, dress up like a clown and a construction worker, and he would draw drawings of the buildings. And we have 2,000, over 2,000 of his drawings that he left behind. So we archived that stuff here. Also, all the um, toolboxes and construction hats he had. And then we have shows like this in his honor of artists that kind of work like he did. I'm not a painter. But I wanted to be involved, uh, so I went more of a mechanical uh, sculpture approach, and uh, that's what I ended up with. Today's National Breast Cancer Awareness Day, and I made uh, the glass flowers for my wife Jenny, and I call them Jen Blossoms, and uh, that's what they're for. That's, uh, they were designed for her. A starving artist that I am. Uh, I used to paint on anything and everything. I paint rocks, I make canes, so I, I stumbled on this ceiling tiles. The reason why I do sci-fi is because when I was younger, I always wondered what it would, would it be like uh, in the year 2000. Uh, now that I'm here, I'm trying to, trying to work that out. A year ago, I went to a family reunion in uh, Greenfield, Indiana, and I went to the site of uh, my old childhood home and it had been torn down. And uh, there were deer prints through what used to be the living room. And so it kind of inspired me to, to see the house that I lived in as a kid being torn down by various animals. So that's kind of where that came from. This series kind of was kind of dedicated to that interior and how I processed the loss of uh, the, the home I grew up in. It's people that are artists that make art that usually aren't seen as artists. People that are like making stuff in their um, houses or in secret and not really a part of cult the cultural kind of art world. There's no venue or for them, so we try to kind of find them and help them find us so we can do stuff like this.